is Leo goes Gur or Leo the Lion says Gur. Which has to do with oxidation and reduction. Whenever you have oxidation, you have to have reduction. They go hand in hand. One can't happen without the other. Loss of electrons, Leo, is oxidation. Right? Loss, electrons, oxidation. And that actually makes your charge or your oxidation number go up because you're losing negativity. I know it's weird. You're losing something, but the number gets bigger. You're losing negativity. So you can see here, this was an element by itself, which is zero naturally, and it went up to plus one because it lost an electron. Notice that when you lose electrons, electrons are free on the product side, not the reactant side. A gain of electrons is reduction. That's the GER in Leo GER. And you're gaining electrons, so you have a decrease or li a literal reduction in the charge. You're gaining negativity. When you're gaining electrons, electrons will always be on the reactant side. And the charge, in this case, this is an element, so it's zero. It goes down to negative one. Why do we care about redox reactions? Now, there's a lot of practical uh, applications of this. One thing connects back to colligative properties. So remember colligative properties? We put salt on icy roads and it helps lower the freezing point of the water because the salt interferes with water's ability to stay frozen or keep frozen, and that melts the ice. But now you have all that salt or salty water, and uh, the salt dissociates in the water, and this rolled salt improves the conductivity and makes an electrolyte. Remember, acids and bases can be electrolytes, but so can ionic salts when they're dissolved in water. And that allows electrons to easily transfer between the metal of your car, right, the outside of your car, and the oxygen in the air. So the metal and the oxygen are going to react and form an ionic compound made of the metal and the oxygen. And unfortunately, that's where we get rust from, right? So even in the winter, you want to occasionally wash your car and get that salt off of your car because that salty solution is going to react with the oxygen and eventually will eat away and uh, form rust on your car. Let's look at some simple examples. Okay, so let's start off nice and simple. You've seen this before when you studied bonding. Metals in general, like magnesium, are on the left side of the periodic table, and they like to lose electrons. Nonmetals, like sulfur, which are on the right side of the periodic table, like to gain electrons. So magnesium will lose its two valence electrons, and sulfur will gain them. When magnesium loses electrons, it becomes a positive cation. When sulfur gains, it'll become a negative anion. And that connects to what we're learning. Leo says ger. Magnesium lost two. Oxidation. Sulfur gained two. Again, notice however many was lost, two. That's how many were gained. Okay, so let's take it up a level. In one of the lessons you've you done this week on Jupiter Ed, you can see a video where copper is placed in a solution, and all this fuzzy crystal starts growing, it's the silvery crystal. Let's learn about that. It's called redox. Again, reduction is gain, grr. Oxidation is loss, Leo. Leo goes grr. So you have the copper reacting with the silver nitrate. That's what that solution is. And then there's a switch. A single replacement, the copper and the silver switch places. So what you're seeing, all this silvery crystal growing, is actually literally silver, replacing the copper. Here's what it looks like in a chemical formula. This is a single replacement. The copper is stronger or more active than the silver. And you can see that on table J. We've learned that. A single replacement, if something is more active or stronger, it can replace. And that's what's happening in this beaker. Now let's look at this, we've already studied this, from the viewpoint of redox. Metals by themselves have oxidation numbers of zero. 
these are not by themselves. These are bonded. AG on the periodic table has a charge of plus one. It only has one choice. NO3 is a group. It's a polyatomic group. So you would have to go to table E, E is an elephant, to find that charge. And it turns out it's negative one. Silver is by itself here, so it's zero. It's a pure metal. Now copper is no longer by itself. Copper has two choices. Cop the copper could be plus one or plus two. So why is it plus two? Well, let's look at the NO3. NO3 is a group we already set on table E, and as a group, it can only be negative one. Let's take it a step further. There are two sets of this negative one. So this copper has to be a plus two to balance this particle's charge. Okay, if you don't quite get it, keep following along. Half reactions. Let's see what changed. Mm -hmm. Copper. The copper went from zero up to plus two. That means it was oxidized. Copper, zero was oxidized. And it lost two, right? It went from zero to plus two. It lost two electrons. The silver also changed. It went from plus one down to zero. It was reduced. Again, literally reduced from plus one down to zero. Two electrons were lost by the copper, and then the two silvers each gained one. Let's keep practicing. The more you practice, you tend to pick it up. So if you're not quite there, keep going. Let's take it step by step. Calcium is by itself, zero. HCl, that's together, it can't be a zero. So I look on the periodic table, H is plus one. Cl has choices, but because H is plus one, and there's only one of them, the Cl has to be minus one to balance it. And that's actually chlorine's first choice if you look on the periodic table. Feel free to pause the video whenever you need to. Calcium is with something, so it can't be zero anymore. If I look on the periodic table, it's plus two. Chlorine is going to be negative one. Two negative ones will balance out that plus two. Last hydrogen is with itself, by itself, so it's going to be an element zero. Let's see what changed. The calcium went from zero up to plus two, oxidation, and lost two electrons. Hydrogen went from plus one down to zero. It was reduced. Okay. And it gained electrons. And you can see here in the picture, the calcium metal lost two electrons. It became a smaller positive cation. And two free electrons were hanging out that got picked up by each of the hydrogens. Each hydrogen will gain one of those electrons to become neutral. Because a positive and a negative will balance out. Okay, time for you to practice. Okay, see if you, on a piece of paper, pause the video, can find the charges for each little piece of this reaction. So pause the video, because I'm gonna keep going and use your periodic table. Here's the answer. Calcium's a metal by itself, zero. H is plus one from the periodic table. Cl has to be minus one to balance it. Ca is no longer by itself, so it's plus two according to the periodic table. Cl is minus one. The H2 is by itself or with itself, so it's also zero. What changed? Again, if you're ready, pause the video and see if you can find out what's oxidized and what's reduced. And when you're ready, just hit play again. Oxidation is lost, Leo. Well, calcium went from zero up to plus two, lost two electrons. Reduction is gaining, Gur. Well, the H plus went down to zero, it was reduced. These are called half reactions, and this is the whole reaction, the net reaction. Okay, let's try another practice. First step, and this is a nice easy one, find the charges using your periodic table, unless they're elements, in which case they're just zero. 
pause the video, give yourself a try. Again, the more you practice versus watching, the better you're going to get at this. Okay, so when you're ready, hopefully, lithium is zero. It's a pure metal, not with anything else. It's an element. And here, it's going to be plus one because it's with something else. And I look on the periodic table and it's plus one. You might be wondering why there's four electrons. Well, let's work through it. Every lithium lost one, but there are four lithiums. So four total electrons were lost. Next, okay, the oxygen. The oxygen went from zero down, it was reduced down to negative two. Okay, four electrons were lost, so four must be gained. There's no spectators here. Everything changed. Try another. This will be our second to last one. A redox reaction takes place between the nitrogen and oxygen in the air when lightning bolts heat the air. So this is what's going to be happening. Take a look and label each piece. I will give you a hint. The N is a little bit tricky because N has lots of choices. So save that for last. Pause the video, give it a try, and then we're going to go on. Unpause when you're ready. Okay, the nitrogen is an element by itself, with itself, zero. The N and the NO has to be plus two. Okay, here's why. Let's look at the next piece of it. O2 starts off as an element zero. And this O is negative two. It can only be negative two if you look on the periodic table. Oxygen has no other choice um, when it's bonded but to be negative two. So if this is negative two, this has to be positive two to balance it. Okay, let's look at this further, make sure everything's looking good. The nitrogen lost two electrons, but there are two of them. Losing two electrons, two sets of electrons, is the four. Oxygen's gaining two electrons. It gained four total because there's two oxygens as well. And there's no spectators because everything was changing. One last practice, and this will be a little bit up-leveled. Again, pause the video. Look for each piece, but I'll give you a hint. The SO4, consider it a group on each side and go to table E to look up its charge. <coughs> okay, when you're ready, unpause. The zinc. The zinc was zero because it's an element here. Over here, it is part of a molecule. I look on the periodic table, it can only be plus two, no choices. So it lost two electrons. The Na. Here, it's with something. If I look on the periodic table, it can only be plus one. Here, the sodium is by itself, so it's a, a metal. It's an element. It's zero. So it went from plus one down. It was reduced down to zero. This lost two electrons. Sodium gained one each, or two electrons total. Now, here, there is a spectator, the SO4 two minus, or minus two. Right? It was SO4 minus two here end here. And again, that was according to table E. Feel free to message or email me with any questions. If you want any tutoring on this, just email me a time and a day, and I'll try to make that happen. Okay, be well.